First of all, why did higher education originally have a story? I mean, it had to do with a lot of people who in the past would never have been educated. Suddenly, their minds, their hearts, their spirits, their, their sheer intelligence would open up. And as a subtext, which then became main text, unfortunately, they would get better jobs, they would have uh, more inner and outer content, they would be able to be on an upward path in their, both in self and society. Um, and they would learn the secrets of the tribes in academic ways, okay? Now the problem was the secrets of the tribes are available anywhere, anytime, okay? You can pick up online any kind of education that you want. Harvard's whole curriculum for free. If you really want it, you don't get into it. Princeton, Yale. But more than that, more than that, was the fact that it became moribund. Curriculums set that didn't have the juice of the new becoming and getting caught up with getting the degree in order to get ahead. Also being fearfully expensive. I went to Barnard College, one of the Seven Sisters, a long time ago. <laughs> and what, what, what did we pay? $800 a year for supposedly a first class education. I don't know what it is Barnard now, but it's probably $30,000, $40,000 now. So, you know, families have to give up everything to put their kids through school. So that's, that's a very big piece of it. And there isn't that much freedom of it as there is in parts, of, well, it's for most of the rest of the world you can go to these schools for free. But another aspect of this, I think, is that there's something simply both higher and deeper than education as it's known. And I think that's really what it's about. People feel they're being crammed with stuff Facts, but facts that don't seem to have relationship to other facts. Unless you have a constellation of knowing in which you look at something and you can feel it, you can see it, you can touch it, you can taste it, you see its relevance, and it opens up parts of your mind that then opens up other perceptions and capacities. Unless you do that, it's irrelevant. Because life is going too fast the acceleration of time and space. I mean, most people, or not, well, a great many people, are living five to 10 to even 100 times the amount of sheer experience of their ancestors of 100, 150 years ago. And we have not been trained for this level of complexity. So things will always break down before they, before you can have the emergence of what is necessary. So a lot of people are just going out finding their own ways into education. Now for higher education to come back to what it could be, it's going to have to be education in thinking, feeling, sensing, knowing, crossing the great divide of otherness, living in a global world, living in a world for which very few of us have been prepared, in which it's a-causal, a-temporal, transcends time, space, knowing. And it's not that I, of all people, with a very classical education, <laughs> I, mean, I want to see my classical education gone. I mean, the most valuable courses I ever took in high school, quite frankly, was ancient Latin and Greek. Because I found that all of literature was available to me, you know, as well as the great stories of the past. I mean, I could sail with Odysseus, you know. I could walk with Virgil. I could understand why Rome went to both greatness and its tremendous fall. I, I, I had patterns from the past that gave me echoes of my own present and future. So that's why it's so important. So, you know, higher education is simply going to have to be education, as in the Wizard of Oz. Education in the mind, realizing people have different styles of mind. Some people think in images, some people think in words, some people think heartfully, some people think multimodally. Learning how to learn according to the uniqueness of your mind. I have never met a stupid child. I've met incredibly stupid systems of education. And that continues through high school and college, etc. 
But if education, let's just take from childhood, is hands-on, sensory rich, art, music, filmmaking, central to the curriculum, children will not fail because their whole mind is being addressed. And the same thing is true in a different way in higher education.